Hello everyone. My name is Parija and today I am here to talk to you about our project SARS, Smoke Alarm Analyzer and Site Evacuation System. Our project is designed as a next generation smoke alarm system to reduce the number of human lives lost in case of a fire emergency in a building. But before we get into the construction and the software design of our project, let me tell you what inspired us in the first place. If we refresh our memory to 1997 when the Upar cinema fire tragedy occurred, many lives were lost. Now imagine us being in the same scenario on the first side of fire, we would run towards the closest fire exit without any prior knowledge of the location of the fire. This fire could be located around the fire exit and in finding so, we would have to try searching for an alternate route and this would increase the human risk factor. Our system SARS does not only act as a smoke alarm to alert the authorities of an imminent fire but also as a smoke analyzer to analyze the rate of increase of smoke in each room and corridor which is used to calculate the safest and the shortest pathway towards the fire exit. All the common man has to do is to look for the blinking lights which will lead him towards safety. Proceeding further, these are the devices that have been used in this project. This is Beaglebone. It is a low cost credit card sized computer. This is MSP EXP 430G2 Launchpad which is an easy to use flash programmer and debugging tool. This is EZ430 RF2500. It is a complete wireless development tool that includes a USB powered emulator and two 2.4 GHz wireless target boards. This is TLB2780, a single supply operational amplifier. Now this is MSV430 F2012, a mixed signal microcontroller. These were the TI ICs. Now the non-TI components are, this is the MQ2 sensor, which is a semiconductor smoke sensor which has a sensitive material whose conductivity varies with gas concentration. This is IC7805 which is a 3 terminal 5 volt positive regulator. This is a pair of IR LEDs and sensor which have been used for smoke de detection in this project. These are a few 2 and double to double to transistors which are NPN silicon planar switching transistors. This is an eyeball uh, 12 megapixel high definition web camera which will be used for smoke analysis using image processing. This is a piezo buzzer which will be used for signaling the presence of smoke. It is a 6 volt DC battery which will be used for provision of backup power. Now we will go through the hardware implementation of this project. Hi everyone, myself Edwin and here we will be going through the hardware involved in the project. First we will see the smoke detector circuit, then the smoke analysis using an MQ2 sensor followed by a backup power supply. The backup power is an idea for the enhancement of the project keeping in mind the dire need of making it work in case of a power failure during a fire accident. We have assembled the smoke detector, smoke analyzer and backup power in a single board to give it a compact structure. This is the smoke detector circuit. This is the smoke analyzer circuit using an MQ2 sensor and this is the backup power circuit. We will first go through all the components of the respective circuits and then the working of each circuit will be shown. This is the smoke detector circuit created using MSV430 F2012 microcontroller. This is the aforementioned MSV430 F2012 microcontroller which is programmed to pulse the IR LED every 8 seconds to check the presence of smoke. This switch is used to switch on or off the circuit. Additionally, a few pair of 2 and double to double to NPN transistors and capacitors have been used in the circuit to complement it. A pair of IR LED and sensors are here. And these will be placed inside the smoke chamber where smoke is to be detected. It is suspended at a height from the circuit board. We have also used a TLB2780 operational amplifier to amplify the signals generated by the IR sensor. On detection of the smoke, alarm is sounded by the piezo buzzer. This 
This is the circuit for smoke analysis using the MQ2 sensor. The MQ2 sensor runs from 5V DC supply. The shown IC is 7805, a 5V volt voltage regulator. This is the MQ2 sensor from which an output voltage is obtained across the resistance in the circuit board. The values will be sent serially to the computer using the EZ430 RF2500. The circuit shown is the circuit for the backup power supply. This circuit is the 5 volt mains input supply. This is the 6 volt DC battery input terminal. And this is the 5 volt output terminal. All these terminals are for DC supply. When the main supply is switched off, the battery take, takes over to drive the load. We have created an artificial environment similar to a fire hazard. The smoke has been detected by the smoke sensors, which is indicated by the piezo buzzer. Okay, now let me show you the values recorded by the MQ2 sensor in the serial monitor in the laptop. This is the backup power supply circuit to be used to power the necessary electronic equipments of this system in case of a power failure. During unavailability of the main su supply, the load will be driven by the backup battery. We can see that the launch pad will be working with mains when power is available. But when mains fail, the battery is powering the load. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Prashant. I'll be explaining to you the software that we have used in our system. We have used the concepts like optical, flow, pluma and bitwise operators in the OpenCV environment. Now let me take you to a demonstration of the software that we have employed in our project. Smoke analysis is one of the tough and tidies of image processing. Here we are showing you the process of human detection which would help us calculate the risk factor for each room. One could clearly see in the black frame that there are two humans. This data is sent to the central computer. Now let's go to fire detection part. Here one can see the flame detected due to its layer which continuously moves. This is a very unique character of image processing. Smoke rate calculation is a complex process and we are continuously working to optimize the code. As a real world implementation could not be displayed for a fire hazard, we are presenting here our algorithm as a simulation on an emulator. Here we have used DigiSus algorithm very effectively for finding the required edges and vertices. The DigiSus algorithm gives us the shortest path from a single source. The two main features of our output path according to our modified algo are the safest and the shortest path. Now let us go to the simulation. Here we can see that there is smoke in conference storeroom, PA's office, senior employee office and some smoke in main office area. Now let us go to path 1. Here we can see that people from conference room go to the employee stairs because there is smoke in senior employee stairs and it is very unsafe to go from there. Now let us go to some other path. Here people from the elevators area choose to come to the employee stair because when they go to main office area, it might cause stampede as there are a lot of people already present there. Now let us go to some other area. In this path, we can see that people from conference storeroom choose to go to the nearest exit because they might find fire when they come via this path as the fire can spread in this area. Similarly, more paths can be seen in this figure. Our algorithm is very effective in most of the test cases that we have that we have tried. 
we are very well looking forward to using it in real world purposes. To conclude, we would like to express our heartiest gratitude towards Texas Instruments for providing us with the opportunity to showcase our ideas. Special thanks to Dr. C.P. Ravi Kumar and Mr. Webb of Ostwal for their constant guidance through the forum and our mentor Professor Malaya Datta Bora for helping us make this project a reality. We are very excited to have successfully developed and implemented a safety system that can prevent loss of human lives in case of a fire incident. It was a great learning experience for us and we are proud to have created a low-cost, high-performance device that has the potential to make the existing technology much more valuable to the society. Thank you.